Hi, I'm Andrew. Today, I would like to teach you to balance the reaction of magnesium with HCl, and that produces MgCl2 and H2. So what I like to do first is I like to place little lines to the left of each molecule. That'll represent the location of my coefficients that I'm gonna place in. The next thing is just keep in mind the general principle that however many elements and atoms you have on the left, better balance those same number of elements in the atoms on the right. Then what I do is I just begin basically with the first thing I see. So I have magnesium over here. It only exists in this location on the left-hand side, and it exists in this one location on the right-hand side. It's tied it's tied in with the chlorine, but that's still good. It's all it's part of that one, only one molecule. All right, I like to work with elements like that. If magnesium also were over here tied to the oxygen, which I know this doesn't make any kind of sense, but I would have skipped magnesium then. Okay, I would have moved on to a different one to start. In any case, you have one magnesium on the left. That's where the subscript comes into play. You have one magnesium on the right. So the magnesium is balanced. Good, move on to the next. Hydrogen. You have hydrogen in this one molecule on the left and over here on the right. So let's balance it. So you have one hydrogen on the left, you have two hydrogens on the right, you have to place a coefficient of two on the left then. You have to think multiplicatively, okay? Two times one gives you a total of two, oops. And therefore now you have a total of two hydrogens on the left, and that will balance then your two hydrogens there on the right. All right, very good. Now, last but not least, let's move on to the chlorine. Now, chlorine here has a subscript of one, but once you place in that coefficient, you have to take that into account. Do not forget that. So technically you have now two chlorines, okay? Because the two times the one is a total of two chlorines on the left. And oh, look, you have two chlorines on the right. Remember, if nothing's placed in here, it's assumed to be a one. So one times two is simply two. So obviously does two equal two? And yes, it does. And guess what? That means you're finished. And this is the balance equation. You can place ones in if you like, but you really don't have to, all right? You just leave them blank. The only value you have there is the two, and you can get rid of these lines. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. If it did, like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. We've got thousands of other videos out there for you, thousands. Not only in chemistry, but we've got mathematics, physics. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. We want to help you through your class, all right? We want to make life a little less stressful. Check us out. See you soon.